Hello. <laughs> Hello, dwarves. Hello. Welcome to our fortress. Welcome to our dwarven fortress. Boom. What up? Hello, it's me, it's Clayton. I'm going to drive this dwarf fortress stream today. Uh, with Pat. Hello, Pat. Hello. Clayton, are you one of the people who played this game for 20 bajillion years before the game came out, or are you a <laughs> new entry to the No, I embarrassingly, like, f found it interesting. I'd read about it. I'd look into it, but I just couldn't get past the ASCII art. <laughs> mm, mm. It, I just couldn't do it. Fair enough. Um, so, yeah, I did wait for the graphics to get good. <laughs> and I, they're good. I, I like how charming this game looks. Um they did a good job giving it an art style that I think is going to become pretty iconic just because of how much this game is a story engine. Um, yeah. And I guess for people who don't know, I'll try to do my best explaining this game because I am new to it. Um, there is, there. I mean, we have a good, great review um, that Ollie did on... Uh, uh, this new release, this 1.0 release. This is a 20-year a game, 20 years in the making. I think just, I think it's just two brothers or two friends, um, who just have been working on it like their whole lifetime. It's it's become their whole thing, and yeah, it just got became the 1.0 release. You can buy it on Steam now for the first time. Nice. <laughs> it looks like this. Um, hey, a couple quick things before we get going. Oh um, yeah, I'm a little low in the mix still, oh, I think, and also okay. it looks like I'm frozen on the stream. So if that's happening, you might just need to click onto the Discord call window again. Okay. Yeah, I feel like this it always. Yep, there it goes. It always seems to do a little hitch at the beginning, and I'll boost you up in the banana. Boost me up. I'm. I'm going to keep talking. I'm talking. I'm talking about dwarves, which are small little guys who run around, I guess, and they have animals. And farms and creatures. Okay, so and... I have. I think are you coming through? Did I pause it? Okay. That boosted. Okay. So, um, where was that? Oh yeah, Ollie. He has a great review. Oh, it looks like website. I froze again. <laughs> oh my gosh. Are you are you are you are you minimizing the the? Make sure that the oh, Discord no. window is not minimized, because that'll freeze every time you do that. Is it staying now? Okay. Hang on. Well, I'm moving now. Yes, so yeah. it did. Okay. Still I thought it was just me oh, trying to the, look at yeah, Dwarf Fortress. Go. Okay, cool. Um, yeah. So, uh, you, yeah, you can check our, check out our review. I know Ollie's been playing the game for a long time. I, I also found um, Gita Jackson has a kind of review about in it in Washington Post that was also oh, cool. very interesting and gives you uh, some more of the context for what the game is. Um, the... Uh, what is the simple explanation of this game? You're, you're leading a, a band of dwarves into fantasy world, uh, and you're just trying to get them to survive. Um, kind of a, you could call it a, like a, a management game, like a little dwarf fortress management game. You build into the underground. So as you notice there, I just moved underground. If you look on the right side of the screen, I'm actually literally using my mouse wheel to cycle through like elevation. So you just think of the whole world as being these slices layered on top of each other. Now I'm going deeper and deeper. Um, so that was one thing I had to kind of get used to. Usually, I don't know, a city game like this, I think the zoom is, is going to literally zoom me in. There is a way to zoom, so I can get closer to the action. Um, you aren't controlling any of these people directly. You are, you, you are putting things down, and it's kind of like a task, and dwarves will go do it if they feel like it um they will eat they need to eat drink they need some kind of entertainment they they need they might have religious requirements they need to go pray at an altar um and you can kind of control what they do um gosh where is it work orders no not work orders labor you can kind of give some jobs to like certain certain members of your little uh village or you can say everybody do this or this is a thing everybody does uh and who are you do you have a character are you like the mayor of dwarf town or no you just i am like this god just leading them by giving them like okay yeah and then if i click on one and i'm going to pause because i'll say one other thing that i'm still a little bit not used to is that it feels Thanks, like man. everything's moving around very fast 
yeah, and I'm just worried is... something's going to happen and I don't have a chance to react. I, I do tend to play kind of management games with pausing a lot and then doing stuff and then unpausing. Um, but I'm going to try to let action keep happening. I just want to click on someone. So if you click on a person, and I remember I, earlier I said, you know, they'll do what they feel like. That's like a huge part of this is that your, your dwarves have feelings. They remember things. When, when they do a thing, like this guy, after discussing problems with a friend, he felt satisfied. Um, maybe early on he was annoyed with the lack of a dining table. Okay, that's telling me something. So some of these things might feel like a, a Sims sort of thing, where it's like they have urges, but it's it's never as much as, as direct as just like, here's my <laughs> toilet bar, I need to empty out my bladder. It's mm-hmm. it's There's something very intricate to how this game has characters... Um, have kind of memories so let's see sometimes they're also the thing that i've had happen a couple times um is that i I guess the like the the thing people like this game and even the sort of community says is losing is is like part of the game or losing is what makes it fun is that you're setting up this little town to survive you you have like certain requirements you want to grow food there's a yearly cycle to it which it's a winter right now i can't grow anything on the surface and and there's nothing to harvest i have to rely on my own growth which you have underground farms with you know growing mushrooms and underground plants um you want to stock up on like uh liquor and 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 other food i think i have enough food i'll get through this but i'm actually and i have a okay amount of drink um the cycle is that every fall a um sort of trading band comes from the dwarven capital i guess or somewhere Mm -hmm. and you it's sort of intended that that's when you stock up so you better have been like building things throughout the year to sell to that caravan Mm. um so i have a, a carpenter's workshop and i have a crafts workshop and i literally can just have a task here like um i want to use up rock so i'm going to say make rock amulets and i'm just going to say keep doing that continuously because i think i still have a pretty dang good supply of rocks um and you know as, as long as a dwarf out there feels like it they'll go to that workshop and make make rock amulets and we'll hopefully sell those next year um but there's the game is like it just gets so expansive and unexpected like i, I feel like i have only touched the surface but a thing that happened to me that i was just oh that's interesting is there's that main caravan that comes every year in the fall mm-hmm. an elven caravan came in like spring or something and they set up all their stuff in this little this is your market where you set things up and other people come to when they arrive i set up all my stuff in there and then when it finally i got there and i clicked the like let's trade thing and i and i had all these wooden amulets on my side they're just like how could you kill a tree we'll never trade oh, with you no and i was just like oh shit i didn't know that i didn't know that elves would have a problem with me using trees to make amulets and so i have a feeling i may have offended them <laughs> oh, uh, boy. So that was interesting. I've also the other thing that has so far been the most dramatic to occur is twice now, a dwarf has gone to one of these workshops. These all these little square things are different workshops, and I haven't even built all the ones available in the game. Um, they'll kind of become possessed. <laughs> like sometimes I think it even says like what god has possessed them, but they'll become possessed to make a masterwork. And they'll just sit there and be like, I like if they're at this one, the craft one, they'll be like, I need thread and bone. And they mm-hmm. just need people to bring those resources or they maybe they will go get it themselves and they'll work and they'll make this masterpiece. But if they don't get their materials, they, they become possessed and go mad and start killing your other dwarfs. So that has happened to me twice now when I was not able to satisfy their urges. And so far, those are the only deaths I've had. Okay. Um, they're over here. I don't know why his, like, his bones were sitting on top of the coffin. I, th- I hope that means they're in there. Um, but yeah, for the longest time, I didn't know you had to like, gosh, there's also zoning in this game. So I've zoned like, this is a dining area. This is a bedroom down here. This is a dining area. Um, (laughs) where do your dwarfs come from? Are are they, are they breeding or do they just like, at this point there, yeah, there, there's, I've had a couple babies, a couple, I've had a couple people join my city. It just was like, Hey, some people migrated. I guess they heard you had a nice fortress going here. Um, but I, ha- I also had an initial band of like adventurers, explorers on an expedition. Um, gotcha. So yeah, like I have, a, I have a 
huge uh what is a dormitory here where most of them sleep but i didn't know you had to zone a like crypt <laughs> So for the longest time, I just had these bones of the first guy who went mad, just like laying out in the middle of the common area. And people kept walking by <laughs> it. Everybody going, off. it. Well, literally people had thoughts about it. And some of them were like, you know, I feel bad seeing, uh, what was this guy? Uh, Me Mebzuth Mastugun. I feel bad seeing him there. And then other people were like, I see the bones. I have no feeling about this. Where it's like, damn, okay. <laughs> <laughs> they must have not liked Me Mebzuth. Um, okay, now I feel like we've got some people. Do you have clothes? I don't know. What's what? What are people feeling? What are we? I see some people are mad. I I could try to make people feel less mad. Um, yeah, try to make some people happy. So my militia commander. I feel like it's probably a good idea that he is not unhappy. Oh, he was the guy who was whining about not having his own bedroom, so I gave him his own bedroom. Is he? Why is he still whining? He was afraid. Okay, he was reliving, experiencing trauma. Okay, maybe that's why he's not doing. Tell him to stop. <laughs> he felt lonely after being away from family for four, far for four t too long. He felt lonely after being unable to make marry for so long. <laughs> he felt bored after being unable to practice a martial art for too long. I mean. I get you. Um, uh, what can I do? Low. Make Mary. Be with family. Martial training. Oh, I could make a barracks. We don't have a barracks. I feel like yeah. I've dodged that whole aspect of this game where you can have raiders attack you or just monsters invade your house. I have two mm -hmm. doors. Currently, those are my defenses. I, I'm sure anybody who's played this game is probably cringing at that. <laughs> I don't have yet a... You're supposed to also make kind of a, like a room for all your dwarves to hold up in if there's an invasion. So like mm -hmm. all the ones who don't fight, so they're out of the way, and then all the fighters can just be there. But okay, let's... How, how can we start this? We should put a barracks. We'll do it downstairs. So first... Um, you know what? This room doesn't need to be a storage room. I'm going to make it to a barracks. Let's yeah, remove this stockpile. Okay, so barracks, barracks, barracks. Is that a zone? Yes, okay. All right. We got a barracks. What's our, f what's our guy's name? Av Avuz. We'll call this... Uh, I was <laughs> boys. Okay. So what do you? Okay, I I I am st still learning this. Um. Okay, so meme short that question. I'm gonna be honest. I don't know. I feel like this is a game about stories and. I've seen many on shared on, on Twitter and other places that like, I think the point is to have a civilization and get as far as you can. And then how it fails is supposed to be a learning experience. So you can go last longer next time. Um, but yeah, I don't, yeah. With this uh, double forte says there is, there's no victory condition. <laughs> um, okay, so we have our barracks. What do you do in a barracks? Bear back. Okay. So I know where I can figure this out. There is, I, I know, I understand a very big thing about this new 1.0 version is that it actually explains a lot of things. There, I don't think there was much of a tutorial in the uh, alpha version. Um, okay, so uh, a barracks. Training order allows your soldiers to train, but you must first assign a barracks created from the zone menu. Okay, the equipment menu allows you. Okay, so actually that's a thing I believe. I know I I need to put a weapon rack. Hopefully here. they got some uh, some tool tips in here for you. Yeah, it's it's definitely makes it possible to parse. It's still a lot. I I was definitely very overwhelmed at first, but I, I think as people. You just gotta 
take the plunge. Um, Hikaras says, one possible goal is to become the Dwarven capital so the king and a bunch of nobles come and then you can throw them all into the lava. <laughs> now, I, oh I remember goodness. seeing a Dwarf Fortress thread maybe like five or six years ago about uh -huh. how like the only way, like if you set up, I think if you set up a like a communistic uh, <laughs> fortress, the only way to prevent it from eventually being uh, sabotaged is to kill every single noble who shows up wow <laughs> because eventually they'll like subvert or change stuff but maybe that's maybe i'm misremembering that thread damn do you get to choose your economic system um i mean i don't know i like i just mm. there's food and there's and there's liquor it's in an open thing i'm i'm the one deciding what we use the money to buy when the merchants come so i'm not sure what that would be in practice right now it's it is just kind of a free-for-all i mean everybody we've got mm -hmm. everybody makes food or just whoever is there will make food right now i don't need to make meals i've got plenty of food um okay, oh okay. i see okay villainous says nobles demand silly things so that's why uh... you feed them to the beasts gotcha <laughs> <laughs> That sounds fun. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, where's my military? I'm trying to make a squad. Uh, uh, there's so many menus. Um, it's like a very menu forward game. Is it militia captain? No, done. Um, no, wait. justice <laughs> there's justice there's a justice menu oh my goodness okay normal robot says that if you can keep a world going for long enough you'll eventually eventually you'll outlast all the demons and magic and things that's so cool man games games are so cool Okay, so hey, I, tell me I, about these these animals running around in your base I, i'd like to know more about them please so i have i have dogs and cats and they i think yeah. are just free to roam um, can i get a dog biograph oh uh, yeah actually hold on let me pause it they move very yeah, fast true. he doesn't seem to have much his relations yeah he's oh is that how i do military is that a millet does he have military history he, is that dog he's not assigned to a squad okay. <laughs> but okay. this is what i'm trying to figure out is how to make squads and assign people to them hmm. um hmm Shepard, thank you for that, Subby. Oh, wait. Is that what, actually what I want? Sorry. Militia commanders are assigned here. Once the first leader is assigned, a subsequent captain just will appear. These can also be assigned from the squad menu. Where's the squad menu? <laughs> oh, my goodness. Uh, Double Forte says Q for the military screen. Okay. Why is that one I couldn't find? Okay. There it is. Thank you. Thank you, Double right. Forte. Um, no uniform. <laughs> Uh, I, uh, okay. Apparently, the squad menu is in the lower right if you haven't already found it. Okay, thank you. Yep. Um, thank you again for the tips, everybody who spent more time playing this game than us. Rovi says, One of my favorite things is getting attached to individual dwarves by reading their thoughts and values and stuff. <laughs> I just kicked my fort who tried to kill a cyclops with a toy tree frog, so I nicknamed her tree frog. Oh. <laughs> and him following her antics. That's very cute. Do I have equipment? Gosh, there's so much. I think In terms I've got... of these. Go ahead. Uh, no, I'm just saying, I think I've got a squad assigned. I'm just like, I think we have got weapons lying around somewhere like i think yeah those are some bucklers i want to get them into the squad i don't know how though i'll figure it out what were you saying i was gonna say in, in terms of like these super fiddly like sim games or i don't mm -hmm. even know what you'd call this genre um games I, made by yeah. like an extremely obsessive person <laughs> I don't have this one. I downloaded Project Zomboid, and I have not started playing that one yet. But that one looks fun in a similar way. Sorry, 
to get back up to see. Oh my gosh, I'm lost in the. Uh, Okay, get back to the top. There we go. <laughs> okay, so how, yeah, I should be paying attention to these things. These are also like little reminders and things. So we found some new materials. People are specializing. That's cool. Oh, a poet, a human monk, and a prophet are visiting. Sounds like the start of a joke. Um, I was about to say, yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, a bunch of stuff I'm not able to make because we don't have shit. Um, wait, what? The King Consort, yep. Odom Sibriololan from Umgandamul, has arrived. Uh, cool. What um, is he doing? Oh, we've got another... Wait. These might be reminders from a long time ago. I think some of these are, yes, unfortunately. Okay. No migrants attracted this season. Making some stuff. It rained. We've got a reindeer calf. And... Oh, no. Oh, he's okay. <laughs> So he got possessed, but he just used that time to make a really sick copper axe blade. Like you do. <laughs> like you do. That's so cool. Thothbush. Thank you for me. I'm homesick, so I'm just making a sweet axe. <laughs> just... <laughs> I got better. Uh, yeah, let's see if I can assign that to somebody in my um, in my squad. The dead this is iron. making me want to play Mountain Blade again. Uh, okay. Oh shit, I should be reading what that thing says. This is a squad menu for your squads. Fill your positions, assign equipment, schedules, and give specific orders. Okay, so what's the orders menu? <gasps> Wait. Oh, that's name the squad. No. Okay. So that's how I... That's the leader. Oh, here we go. Schedule. Okay. Train. Constant training. Wait, constant training. Yeah. Wait, did I just tell them to train? <laughs> I have no idea. Um. Constant training. Okay, well, it does say the routine is now constant training, so I think that's something. Gotcha. Okay, yes, the default schedules, you can select which one's active. Schedule, no, equip. Let's give you. I'm just gonna, let's see, items. So I yeah I'm now I'm literally realizing I don't know how to just like give a certain dwarf an item. <laughs> That's fair, Violetta. You don't even like control them directly. Um, somebody said to pick stagger training. Oh, I don't want to overdo it. So what button did I press to do that? Oh my god. Are there humans in this game, or is it just? So I have had racing? yes, I have had humans okay. come by. Um, uh, I traded with them. They didn't have shit. It wasn't. <laughs> it wasn't very useful. Somebody just left a giant crown in the way. Actually, something I have appreciated is it doesn't seem like stuff gets you. You can't block a passage by just dropping something in the way. Um, that's not supposed to block a package. Uh, the passage. <laughs> An interesting thing is when you start the game, it does a. It creates the world for you. And it apparently creates like 200 years of history in that world. Um, That's so cool. I might do that near the end because it's just kind of funny to read the history it's inventing. Um, I think it's even a mode is you can just go through the world and see what the what the history was. Okay, so if I select a squad, equip. Data equipment. Details. Number one. But how do I give him? Oh, here we go. Specific armor. Yes. 
Copper breastplate. Cool. I'm doing it. New shield. Specific shield. Steel buckler. Cool. New weapon. Oh, now we can pick that sick one that the guy made. Noth. Nothlith. No, that's a different one, actually. That's not an axe. That's a crossbow. That's a sick crossbow. Okay. Confirm. Yes, we've armored someone. Perfect. Nice. Okay. Let me. We're arming it. our dwarves. I'm sure nothing bad will come from this. No, I, it's important that we have <laughs> uh, fully weaponized dwarves. No. Uh, no, I'm cl I cannot click the right button. Details. That's what it is. Details. Okay. Just uh, another annoying question for mm -hmm. you and or chat room. Does uh, does your colony have like any sort of de facto leader other than sort of God who's nudging things along? Like, could there be a coup within your fortress, right? Could there be like, could your army be overtaken by a, a, a rival sect or is that stuff all determined by you? I think, I think that kind of shit does happen. Like I know people get invaded mm -hmm. by monsters, but I think you can even invite, um, invasions by like like I, that's, that's why i was just like kind of worried that elves might come and fuck with shit because i insulted them like i, I just heard mm -hmm. of things like that happening um so, so i don't know if it's exactly like your own government clamping down on you but i think i think you you do actually every year oh i got an alert um elven oh, oh the elf oh shit the elven the elves are back uh oh uh oh where are they let's see this is so cool. All right, so Double Forte says your expedition leader, and then mayor is elected, and then you select dwarves to be appointed as barons and counts by the liaison oh. the capital, and then there can be coups and conspiracies and stuff. Okay, so the elves are back. Maybe this Don't... is a different one. Uh, yeah, I won't put anything on here that is um, <laughs> wooden. Yeah. Or made from living materials. I don't yeah. really like any of that stuff. Okay, okay. So, siltstone. Yes, those things Just, are fine. Yeah, rocks and shit. Yeah, yeah. Mudstone. Rex, thank you for the three months. In Mudstone. advance, wow. Damn, thank you. Uh, jet. Mar Marisite. Um, not the wood amulets, no. Nope, none of those. Okay. Um... Gosh, do I have crowns? What else do I have that's made of wood? I don't. Maybe not much. Gamers, greetings, Alexi. I've just got gems. Oh, I bet what they want gems. Cut gems. Yes. Bring you some of my precious gems and rubies. Yeah, hopefully this is enough. Okay. Don't buy my shit, elves. Mm. Okay. Ryan, so... we are both both newbies. I've never played it, and Clayton is. How, how long have you been playing this, Clayton? I, I literally started last weekend. This is my little yeah. go at it. It's not completely collapsed yet, so. Mm -hmm. But we got see. a lot of smarty pants in the chat who've spent many years playing. Okay. I'm going to request that my broker get get themselves up here, and we are enchanted by your more ethical works. <laughs> We've come to trade. <laughs> That's, really funny. That's so good. Okay. Now you guys made puzzle boxes out of wood. What the fuck? Um. Okay. What do I want here? Ooh, actually, I saw some swords. Gotta get a sweet That's sword. So funny. Well, yeah. Let's get so some shields. The the context behind that for those of you who just showed up is uh, Clayton's previous run in with these elves was uh, marred badly because uh, he put out a bunch of wooden wares wooden medallions to sell to them and they got very offended that he had cut down and carved up trees um so they've come back around good, yeah not a good they, move uh, they now appreciate his ethical wares. Oh, actually i will buy all of your fruit to 
ferment into liqueurs <laughs> and wines. Um, amongst the, uh, I guess, sort of Maslow's hierarchy of needs for the your dwarves is alcohol. So you must keep continuously be fermenting and brewing more drink. All right. Trader profit. Ooh, that's a lot of profit for you. Let's not trade everything. All right. Another one from Egan Rowe V says, I generated a, was that one? Like 1,000 year old world and was looking at its history. And there was a little Mike Wazowski guy called Gorlak who became a <laughs> necromancer and from the beginning of history until the end just tried and failed to corrupt government officials. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that is a good story generator. That's so good. <laughs> All right, let's trade. All right, cool. It was okay this time. Um, so now that I know I have a bunch more fruit, I'm going to definitely make sure we are continuously brewing drink. And I, I feel like I see a lot of barrels, so I think I'm good on barrels too. I really wish I could do some more farming, like I've got these underground farm patches, but I discovered that my soil's not good. It, it said, like, what I <coughs> really want is cavern soils, and I haven't actually run into a cavern yet, which is kind of disappointing. From what I understand, that's where you find a lot of monsters. Um, you know what? Let's, let's try to f go somewhere we shouldn't go and find a cavern. Um, but first... But first, I'm going to put a door here, just in case. <laughs> I don't know how important a door will actually end up being, but let's, uh, let's wow, just... This music is good. I Chat, do, are you hearing yeah. the music? I can, um, I can give it a, a little boost. Yeah, these, these kind of games, I feel like... They, you just gotta invest in like the good thinking music. You're gonna hear it a lot. So yeah, building, I mean, you're, you're literally just using this dig tool and painting like where you want doors to dig. And then you've got, like I, I think I showed earlier on, you've got a labor menu. I've had only selected dwarves. I've got four dwarves who are assigned to do mining. So one of them will start doing that if I ever or maybe even all of them. And as you do mining, you pick, you uncover just stones. If you, these like colorful areas, that means if I dig through areas like that, I could find gems in that, uncut gems. And then you cut gems at a jeweler and then encrust them in crafts and furniture and things. And that, you know, proves the value. So you've got kind of like a little economy you're building. If you set up your storerooms, do your dwarves take care of organization by themselves? I I can say I want this stockpile to like for instance only be leather. This one is only gems. Yeah. These are everything. Oh, finished goods. This is just an everything stockpile. And this is a fur furniture stockpile. And this is my barracks. I don't know if I did that right, but <laughs> we've got a barracks. Oh yeah, I wanted to change their schedule to not literally only ever train. No, back. I can do this you schedule um stagger training there we go okay i did that right okay yes um what's happening there's nothing to catch you i've had a bad time that's referring to fishing you again in assigning roles um you assign, is it here? No, maybe it is lore. Yeah, it's here, fisher dwarves. So that's a source of food is fish. You've got livestock. Um, if I was running low on food, I could butcher um, one of my animals up here. Oh, there's a lot of blood up here. Now well, tell me what's going on with the now, blood. Now, why is there a lot of blood up here? <laughs> Toasted Craftswain's dwarf blood. Now. <sighs> If I remember correctly, that was the first of my dwarves to go mad when he couldn't get the supplies to build something. So that was a while ago. I don't know why there's a bunch of his blood up here now. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. 
There's a to toad remains. What's going on? Are my v grouchy um, annoyed? I don't know if I have enough food for my animals. I'm not sure what's going to happen. Oh, we're in spring. Okay, I didn't even notice the passage of time. Um, it happens when you're gaming. Is it weird? There's so many dead birds. <laughs> I don't. That know. might be bad. I don't that know. Might be bad. It might be. Another How many uh, dead okay. birds is it normal to have? Everybody, please. <laughs> A thing I'm having an issue with is water. I, we made it through another winter, I guess, with enough drink. So it didn't matter, but this river freezes up in the winter, and so I want to build a well, but you have to build a well above water. Um, oh yeah, that makes sense. That's so, how wells work. Yeah. So like literally, this is the where mm -hmm. that water is. I, it, I can't. I build it right there. Did I? Why was this something I hadn't done yet? Make it a. It needs mechanisms. Fucking mechanisms. What mechanism does it need? Oh, right. Blocks, a chain or rope, and a bucket. Right. Okay. Did I make blocks? Uh, we've got pecan wood blocks. Okay. I know I've got buckets somewhere. Chains? Is that what I need to make? I think it's chains. Metalsmith, can you make chain? No. Fuck. Uh, loom, can you make rope? Or is it clother shop? No, you've got rope. Okay. Okay. Build the well inside your fortress near your hospital if possible. I don't have a hospital. So. <laughs> <laughs> Whoopsies. Whoops. Um, oh boy. Uh, Leia, let's let's make a hospital. How big does that need to be? Um, I can like, I'm not going to flood this if I just get close to the water, right? I don't know. Only one way to find out, buddy. Only one way to find out. Oh, I also, I'm trying to keep a lot of things i'm just gonna keep d digging over here in hopes that i find uh i don't know a crypt or something i want to find a f catacomb i really do so dig 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 okay hospital hospital yes that's important <sighs> okay do i so a hospital. <laughs> Instead of workshop, so hospital or workshop. <laughs> uh, smooch, yeah, the uh, music comes in and out. It's sort of yeah, very ambient yeah. and cool. Um, Hospitals are a zone. A zone? Okay, I was in the right place. Meeting area, office. Is it like a type of meeting area? Yes, okay. Accept. So we'll name you Doctor Place, and we'll assign it. So you, yeah, this is I, I remember this now. I had to sign my zones as specific shrines. Um, mm -hmm. I don't have I my there's other gods that my dwarves would like to pray to, so I should probably make more shrines because mm -hmm. um, they're not all satisfied. But we'll make a hospital first, the House of Laboring. <laughs> okay. Um, I feel like I should put beds in there. Uh -oh. That might be good, yeah. Uh-oh. Oh, my um my leader must have died. Interesting. Um let's hold on. I'm going to pause, catch up on this. Oh no, the planter has gone stark raving mad. Uh-oh. You need one of those. I didn't this is possible that explains the blood um mm. but yeah. So, um, we've got a baby girl. Great. Uh, pecan wood barrel. The merchants are leaving soon. Um, combat logs suggests pick rest. Oh, combat logs. Okay, we'll go check that. Uh, we've got a new recruit. Ranger. Started raining. Some migrants. <laughs> Nil Damatul 
planter cancels strange mood went insane <laughs> okay yeah hey i'm done being in a strange mood i got no. a new thing going on i'm done <laughs> that's so um funny. okay so <laughs> Mil military logs combat logs where do we find these my planter oh wait oh those are my guests we have a barn owl what the fuck <laughs> um you have a bar hell yeah so where's the... the bar get drunk <laughs> the ah oh, man i am just what's going on and why is it in the the place where all my like grazing animals are this this is my uh pasture <laughs> the blood pasture <laughs> good name um i'm supposed to move those guys inside and they should munch on the farm's mushrooms but i've never grown enough mushrooms so i leave them outside <laughs> hopefully nothing bad happens it seems like something already has um The standard way in the community to deal with strange moods with unmet needs is to build walls around their workshop. <laughs> oh, cask uh, of a million tado them. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, we got people who are hanging around in the hospital for some reason. I have not. Shit, that's what I was doing. I got com I got distracted. Bed. Beds. We'll put some beds here. Because you those is that's a thing you put in hospitals, right? What else do I put yeah. in the hospital? Uh, some some rags maybe to to <laughs> clean people's blood. Get you you tell you what you want to get the fucking dogs and cats out of there. Yeah, I don't know how to tell them not to though. Um, okay, we've got some really happy people actually. I feel like I'm doing pretty good. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> we don't have constant access to fresh water. That's fair. Um. I can't say how long we'd survive against any kind of outside attack. Also true. But we have lots of liquor. A lot, man. I am really, I've never had this much drink. 600. I have a lot of seeds. I guess I should grow stuff on the surface because what else am I going to do with that seeds? MX Jeweler, thank you very much for that tier one subby. I really wish I could grow stuff underground though. Is that what rat, I think ratweed might be underground. Well, I guess not. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Crops for each season. Wow. Wow. Um. Oh, somebody said beds. A few tables for surgery, coffers to keep crutches, splints, and threads in. Okay. I don't know how many coffers I've built. Let's make some. Fucking. Men will that? really live without coffers. Is that a piece of furniture? Oh, I don't need to make barrels. I think I've probably gone ahead of barrel making. We can stop that. Um, is that just like chests? Probably just chests. So make some chests. Crutch. Yes. I think I saw splint. Yes, we'll make some splint. Um, we'll make mm. let's see tables, tables, yes I need a table oh my god have I just been making doors non-stop? okay you can stop that <laughs> um, I'll use them eventually <coughs> make wooden tables non-stop now um Oh yeah, how's this big tunnel going? What's happening? Ooh, we found some stuff. Cool. Cool. Malachite. I just, I really would love to find a cavern. I don't know if anybody has tips to like where you find caverns, but I just would love some monsters. Everybody says go down. 
I need to go down more. Okay, hold on. I, I I have the part like the the deep core drilling of my fortress, where I just kept going down to see if I'd find anything. So what elevation thirty? Uh, Cicada says usually like negative sixty to eighty. Holy shit! Okay, I I I thought you would stop at like. I guess I don't know what elevation twenty five means. Oh, I started on a hill. Is that why? Mm, I'm very high fool up. Fool on the hill. I'm a fool on the hill. Okay. Well, we gotta we gotta dig. Just make imagine little. how creepy it would be to just dig that deep. Again. <laughs> this is going to take so long. Double Fortis is you can do one straight up and down stair all the way down. Are you kidding me? Oh my god. <laughs> okay. I imagine that'll take a long time. So let's let's build that a little far away from everything in case this goes bad. I literally thought I had to keep making several stairs. Okay, so this is gonna be, you know what? No, we're gonna we're gonna. Oh, I'm sorry, <laughs> normal robot with a good point saying dwarves can trip and fall downstairs. So what you're doing was a good a design. So oh. now if somebody trips down the stairs, they're going all the way down. Damn. Okay. Well. <laughs> Do That's they like die? The fucking John Wick 2 when Common tackles him down the staircase <laughs> and they just keep going. <laughs> okay, so let's put a door in front of this. What's a hatch? Is that what I should be making? Mm. Interesting. It is what I should be making. Is that something I make at the Metalworks, perhaps? No. Here, perhaps? Yeah, it is. Okay, we'll make a hatch to also close this haunted room. But here we go. Okay, staircase from level 40 down to zero. <laughs> and then I'll make another one <laughs> that goes down to... God, the people said negative 60? This w I'll go 40 each time. Maybe this is a bad idea. This is... We'll go to 60 this time. And then another 20 down to 80. Oh, I feel like I hear... No, that's probably just the sound effects. God, that's so funny. I do love hearing the dripping water. That's yeah. so cool. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, a couple times. Interesting. Oh, that's not good, actually. <laughs> um. Oh, oh, it said I got to a cavern. <gasps> oh, ghost, what? Tosid Rigothlethlum, ghostly weaponsmith, batters nil dumathul, planter. Okay, what? <laughs> What is going on? Um, God, is there more blood? I just don't know. <laughs> that looks like the same amount of blood to me. Okay. Um, fuck. Uh, 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 what is that? I need to make sure I do this. I need to put hatch here. Because I realize that technically this staircase is connected to my other rooms. Um, fuck, where was the, uh, zero? Okay. Uh-oh, alert. A human caravan has arrived. Oh, cool. 
Yeah, so there's some humans. Um, okay. Take a look at that cavern. So, does this say cavern floor? Is that is that what I mean? Or is it even down farther? Oh, oh, is that what this is? Open space. Yes, that's a cavern. Okay. Cool. So I just have to go down to negative fifteen. Um. Yeah, we'll we'll put some doors there. <laughs> Let's go back up here, see if there's anything I want to trade with these humans. Yeah, get rid of all your wood shit that the elves looked at you funny for having. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Um, yeah, definitely all the wooden shit. Um, I feel like I got some really sick barrels. Yeah. I just want to take a look at my barrels. Show me your barrels. 700. That is a fucking sick barrel. Shit. Uh, bracelets. Do I have wooden ones? Yes. And... I feel like I got some crowns. You guys want crowns? <laughs> got a bunch. <laughs> earrings. Yeah, we got earrings. Rings? You know it. And what was the thing I made like way too many of? Doors? Oh, that's not that many. Yeah, doors. you made a fuck ton of doors. According to this, I didn't. So maybe the guy stopped. Oh, really? Maybe I ran okay, out of space good. for him. Okay, that seems like probably enough. Um. Okay. Yes. Excited. After this trade, we're gonna go down and see what this cavern is all about, this catacomb. Okay, 16 items. Let's get them at the depot. Start trading here in just a moment. Oh, they have to sleep? Zuglar Oslob, <laughs> get off. <laughs> Ogslob. Um, okay, there we go. What do you got? What do you got? What do you got? Actually, I realized last time they didn't have much, so I like buying codexes because I don't know what the fuck they do. Cool. Um, I guess this is why I buy things. Crutch I have to buy. I have plenty of food. I don't really need to buy cheese, but I guess we'll grab a couple. Spiked ball. That sounds cool. Um, I mean, it's good to have fruit. Good to make alcohol. We love fruit. Um, fish. I don't have much fish, so we'll get we'll get some fish. We'll pick up some fish. Um, meat. I don't have any meat, but I feel like I've used up all my meat and prepared meals, so we'll get a little bit. We'll get some yak. Um, cognac. Some dingo. <laughs> Badger. Delicious dingo meat. Great white shark tripe. Cool. Um, cool. There's a great, oh man, that's a great way of learning. There's great white sharks in this game. <laughs> uh, cloth. Oh, these are just like chests, kind of value packs. You could get the whole chest. Um, oh yes, I want your iron pike. Um, and your bucket. Do you have chains? I need chains for something. For a well. What's a bokey? <laughs> is that clothing? Let's just get the ten. Okay. How much do I need to trade here? Do I have enough? Yes. Will you take that much? Cool. All right, we're done. 
I'm gonna go down to the caverns. There's the 14, negative 14. Oh wait, what was that? Too deep. No. Yep, here we are. Okay. So I definitely, once again, just want doors just to feel a little more secure. Now, is that water beyond there? It says it's empty space or open space. Okay. So. All right. Oh, Good there's so many more caverns down there. Oh, I'm already connected to this cavern. Shit. Or I'm about to be. Or is it filled? Maybe. I don't know. Let's go back up to 14. So how do I get them to go in there? Uh, Zambino. It's uh, it, it's on Steam now. There's an official 1.0 Steam release. Oh yeah. With, uh, with um, little pixel graphics. So maybe okay, there may be, must not be something in every single catacomb. Um. I don't. I maybe I'm literally just poking the bear here. I'm hoping I'll pop open one of these things and a bunch of monsters will spill out. But I don't actually know. Oh, I heard something. Oh, they found him dead, dehydrated. Hmm. Oh. Okay. Hmm. 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 Hold on. Can I? Can I just? Can you take me here? Oh, he's in. Oh, well, somebody helpfully put him <laughs> in <laughs> in the crypt. So that's good. Dehydrated, huh? It is spattered with nil rough lords. <laughs> nil rough lords dwarf blood. <laughs> now what happened? I, I can't quite read that. Sorry, it says this is Nil Dumathiel's mutilated corpse. It is splattered with Nil Rough Lord's dwarf, dwarf blood. Okay. Who is Nil Rough Lord? Petitions. Oh, I have a. I've never seen this before. Status of Dothan snake amused, <laughs> wishes to reside in Trample Shield for the purpose of eradicating monsters. Do you approve of this quest? Now, first of all, what's a Trample yes. Shield? It's my. It's this. It's my city. He's asking if he can live here for the purpose of eradicating monsters. Hell yes. <laughs> okay. Don't know where that came from, but glad you're here. But we have a mystery on our hands. <laughs> and I think Neil Rufflord knows something. <laughs> um, oh shit, is this how I get to use the justice menu? Fuck. I, I wish it said like an open case. Um, oh, uh, Neil was the one who, yeah. who went mad. So did he dehydrate him before we caught him? Or is he... Hmm. Okay, so is he is Rough Lord still here? Um Neil, 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 Neil. Any other Sorry, Neil. I don't I think he's He just ran around naked until he died of thirst. <laughs> uh yeah, it's I I I don't know if you're being serious. That very well could be what happened. I think that's what they do. I think they just start, when they go mad, they just start neglecting all their needs. Uh, oh, cave moss is starting to grow everywhere. Interesting. So I also feel like I, I fucked up in having my, um, this main cave space so close to the surface because a bunch of holes have opened up in the surface. Like basically all this green and brown specks you see is peering down into my first oh, level. Oh, really? Wow. So you can see, every once in a while you can see like there's a dwarf through there. Um, yeah, yeah. I'm pointing at my computer monitor like that matters. Um, shit. So midsummer already. Okay. Um, let's see. It's now summer. Discovered an expansive cavern deep underground. Yes, we did. Speaking of witchers and monsters, I got so much gaming to do this weekend. Oh yeah, got that Witcher patch, the the Witcher PS5 update. Oh yeah, you're gonna dive and, into that. 
I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm finally gonna play it again. I have uh, I have not played it since 2016 or whatever the year it came out was. Yeah, um, I. I thought about it. I, I feel like I tried at some point because I, I wanted to play the expansion. I heard that blood and blood and wine or iron and wine. I can't remember what it was called. Blood and wine. Blood and wine. Iron and wine is, is the, the band. Yes. Uh, uh, and it, but I, I feel like I couldn't. I tried to pick the game up again. I was just so f far into it. I had no idea. But uh, this. Would I mean, be thankfully, a good that is one of the few games that does the thing where you lo load it up and it. The guy tells you everything that's happened so far. True. But that, mechanically. It mechanically, I just couldn't. Yeah. yeah. Um, shit, where was I going? Down. Down, down, down to the caverns. How do I explore caverns? Is that a job I need to give someone? Oh, Ryan. Uh, my favorite uh, album is a collaboration they did with Calexico called In the Rains, I think. Uh, I think that's what it's called. Oh, that was... Oh, my God. <clears throat> the ca oh my gosh okay I figured it out now it's open air because literally this cabin is so big that this is like the tippy top of it this is the roof of a cavern a catacomb and as I keep going down lower and lower I can see the bottom way down on oh man okay so yeah I have to keep just shit it's so far down here Oh, but there's like a spore tree. Hell yeah, this is sick. Okay. Whoa, yes, we're going fungus mode. Okay, so how do I get down here? Oh yeah, the staircase won't work there. I need to find a different way. Is this water? It's open space, damn. That's water though. Shit. Okay, that's good. I actually have not yet found water underground, so I kind of need this. So, above it, I need to make drill, and then I could potentially make a well? I think that's how it works. Very well could. <laughs> okay. Um... Or did I just do it? I just did it under. How, how do I uh, cancel building? <laughs> I'm not sure. Yeah, how do I cancel? I don't want, I really don't want to. <laughs> Is that it? Oh, oh, okay. I see what you're hmm. Right click, then use X to designate canceling. Thank you. I, I just knew that. I didn't read that from the chat. I just knew that. Oh, wait, right click, press X. There we go. Okay, so above the water. I guess that would just be like any of these spots, right? But that's an open space too. What a complicated cavern. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, I need to step back. Maybe just build a staircase directly here. Yeah, just go up. There. <laughs> there we go. Nice. I got Witcher 3. I got the Street Fighter 6 beta going on. I'm going to play some Fortnite with my friends. Too much gaming. Chop down fungi tree. Yes, that's cool. Oh, damn. Can't harvest Decided this fungus instead. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm excited to see what happens when your dwarves come in contact with the fungus. All right, so back up to where, oh my God, so deep underground. I really did build this on the top of a fucking mountain. Jeez. Okay. 
How are things? Uh, Dwarf Doomed One is visiting. Oh, okay. That sounds good. Yeah, um, who are you? That's good, right? <laughs> oh, no, it's in my visitors. Where's my visitors? Others. Pond Grabber. Oh, we got a monster. It's in an, an, one of these underground water things. Pond Grabber. It's 194 years old. That's an old ass Pond Grabber. Yeah. Okay. Resist sickness. And it is frail, though, so don't it's worry. It's frail. Um, others. Okay. Ghostly Weaponsmith. Oh, we do have an undead person. Wait a minute. He's just hanging around. You just got an undead guy chilling now? Tazid Riglethlum is the ghostly weaponsmith. He has two children, he's 53 years old, and he is undead. Good for him, I guess. Uh, what does it say? Cannot breathe. Vision lost. Ability to stand lost. Ability to grasp lost. Um, but besides that, history description a short sturdy creature fond of dreaming a violent ghost the spirit has not been properly memorialized or buried is that what happened could be no it's Do not to build the tomb? it's none of these guys' bodies though is is oh my gosh i don't know what's happening um he has a, a son um You need a slab. A slab? Okay. Yeah. I'll make a slab. I mean, it might be too late. It might be. Is that a thing I can make here? Where do I make a slab? I was working in the slab. I can... Sorry, I should be pulling up the Dwarf Fortress wiki. It's kind of one of these games that demands you have the wiki open next to you. It's a good wiki. Um, oh, I know what the, okay, yes. These are the things where if you don't memorialize their body because it's gone for some reason, um, uh, it's okay. just like a tombstone. Make it a workshop first. What? Then why didn't let me make a friggin... Okay. Oh, did I click the craft thing? Maybe that's why. Where's the slab? Hold on. Do I need to go? Is it here? Rock. Oh, yeah. yeah you're in a carpenter's workshop? Well, I went to the craft storks. Okay. I, I don't see it here either. We're not looking right. Is there a stone workers one? Oh my god, was there a stone workers one? I do have a stone workers one. That's where it is. Okay, there we go. Make a couple slabs. You can't can't have too many slabs. <sighs> um, Your plus stab, slabs. Know that if you die, one of these slabs will be for you. Do I have enough coffins? Maybe that's another issue. Let's stop with the wooden doors. What is this sound good? I think it means something's being born. <laughs> Casket. Let's make a couple caskets. Yeah, we've had a couple births. It might be a good idea to look forward to the future. <laughs> Pre prepare for this. Mm -hmm. I didn't see the doomed one, and I really would have liked to. Is he gone already? Um, others dead, missing, deceased. Um, magma crab. Ooh, magma crab. We got a magma crab. Just like no official position, the magma crab has no official position. Only eighteen years old. Maybe. <laughs> Can you appoint him to something? Yeah, I don't think so. I don't think he's a part of my city. And Chancellor Magma Crab, <laughs> please. Um. Okay. So. Hmm. Start raining, create a masterpiece. Uh, okay. Dwarf child, migrants. 
Yeah. Oh, you know what? I really got. Oh, the, there's not as much blood anymore. That's good. Um, we'll grow some stuff. It's summer now. I don't even know. Blueberry bushes sound great. Um, then why don't you fucking don't fertilize? I don't care. Just grow shit. Um, chicory. Uh, the. Oh yes, this, this guy. So let's place a stab, a slab. In the crypt, we'll do another one just to get ahead of things. Hmm. No slab, okay, fine. What about furniture burials? Furniture burials. I still wish I knew how this happened. Ah. Can I get this guy? Oh, I can't get their history. Okay. Um. What is it? What do I need to do? Uh, I could make... Oh, what's growing in there? Sweet pods. That's interesting. I was going to make this a um, another offering place for another one of the gods that my, my people like. Okay, I need to make sure someone engraves the slab first. Uh, okay, hopefully that doesn't mean before I place it. Um, <laughs> let's see, how do I engrave a friggin' slab? Let's see, I've got the slab open up here. Oh, it's turn into a memorial at the craft. Okay, so make new task. Uh, what do you call it? Is it called the memorial? Engrave memorial slab? Is that just... Do I not have the right kind of craft workshop? Oh, it's down at the stone worker's place. Mm. Engrave memorial slab, there we go. Okay, here we go. Um, so let's, the ghost, <laughs> let's get the ghost one. <laughs> and then Dumathul, and then Moosbeth, Mesbeth. Cool. Do, do you have enough slabs? You've made two. Okay. Make one more, I guess. <laughs> oh, we've got plants growing. This is cool. I don't know, yeah, why that is. Oh, wait. I'm trying to remember all the things to keep up with. I'm supposed to get some tables in the uh, hospital. And I feel like it's something else, a cabinet, maybe? Fuck, I don't have a cabinet. Or, uh, well, okay, let's get back to this. How are my doors doing? Who's unhappy? Is it because you can't pray to someone? Uh, okay, what about you? Pray to Egath. Unmet need. And who's who's unhappy? 
Tozid. Pray to the Ekru Pearl. Oh, I thought the Ekru Pearls was one of the ones I had. Hold on. Now hold on. The Deep Abbey. <laughs> okay, let's give this one. Okay, so we've got the Shrine of Bones, the Deep Abbey, um, New Temple. Oh, there's a lot of ones people want. I feel like the Ekru Pearls people have been asking for. They've been going on about these pearls. But I could also make one to Nekol, the Fate of Ashes. Sarek, Colantumbra, something, something. Arib. <laughs> Uftost, Sizzle Gorges, <laughs> Egath, Usu, Deep Copper, Cooler, Bakter, Whisper Minist, <laughs> Gosh, these... <laughs> and Sedast. Um, okay, so I like the sound of Bakter, Whisper Minist, but I know people want the Ekru Pearls, so I'm going to give them that. Alert! A Caravan. Oh, that's the capital, and I've got diplomacy. So our a liaison is here, and he's, he gave me information, I guess, updates. And now I am going to choose what I want the caravan to bring me next year, or like what to focus on. And I feel like every time I'm telling them seeds, please, please bring me seeds. Where are the seeds? Not garden vegetables. Where are the seeds? There they are. Okay. All of them. Please bring me seeds. That's all I care about right now. Okay. And... I'll get everything in the trade place. So I do wish there was some ways to streamline some of these menus a bit more, but I was astounded to learn that I think the Steam release introduced mouse controls <laughs> So you were literally doing this all by typing. Wow. Um, I think there might have been like modifications and ways to do that without mouse or to do it, but yeah. There were also ways to mod the game to give it visuals. So it wasn't that we literally only had to play it with ASCII art, but um, this has been the first official visual release. I have so many cups. I accidentally set my craft dwarf to just make cups forever and I kind of overdid it. Um, but that's okay. Get rid of this scepter. And yeah, I think that should probably be enough. 224 items. Okay, that might take a sec. Oh, oh no. Oh my gosh. What up? What happened? Okay, I have to like go through this. Because the Max, <laughs> an Axe Man fought the Magma Crab. Okay. Tell me um, what happened. Yeah, I want, am I doing this chronologically? I want to make sure. Oh my gosh. Okay. I don't I also don't know if it's ongoing. Can I go to it? <gasps> there's blood. Oh, and there's the corpse of of a crab. He won. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's see what happened. Can I Uh Gosh, I wish I knew which order this was in, but the Flying Magma <coughs> misses the Human Axe Band. Dothan rushed in the Human Axe Band. This is a fight. I feel no terror. <laughs> uh, looks like he dodged. Um, he jumped away. He hacked at the Magma Crab in the body with his Copper Battle Axe, fracturing the Chitin. Yeah, he seems yes. to be a pretty good warrior. 
Nice. Do, do we have to pay this guy? He just wanted to join my crew. Master Witcher? Oh, man. There's a magma crab in my basement, Master Witcher. <laughs> we... All right. Um... Oh, yeah. I definitely need to make sure I buy stuff, because this is my last chance before the winter. Am I just making so much charcoal? We can... I think we can stop on the charcoal. Oh, no. Oh, this is good. My herbalist has made just an incredible copper flask. He's claimed as an heirloom in the name of the family ancestor, ancestor Tyrist Ring Dies. Sick. Way to go, dude. I have so much charcoal. Holy shit. Um, I have discovered a downward passage. Don't know what that means. Wait, can that take me to it? Yes, it can. What does that mean? Huh. This is such a big cavern, holy shit. Fuck, this ghost just keeps attacking people. You gotta do something about that ghost. You gotta you gotta call somebody about that, Clayton. <laughs> Barca with the, uh, the the scary interpretation of the downward passage that's been discovered <laughs> means that other creatures have discovered an upward passage. Dun dun dun. Um, okay, can I trade now? Not yet. Still a bunch of stuff. Okay. Hmm. Hey, uh, chat room, has anybody tried playing this game on Steam Deck, and how is it? <laughs> Be very curious to know. Let's make a bunch of offering places. I know that Zomboid is Steam Deck verified, but I can't imagine playing that on there. <laughs> Yeah, you can also make burrows, which is like a, you can kind of have multiple separate parts of your f fortress for different groups. So you can make like a dormitory and that's like, these dudes live on this level and they do the work here and kind of like segment off your, your doors. Uh, I guess if you were very um, detailed about the management side of it. Let's make another temple. Uh, I just like the sound of back to her whisper menaced. <laughs> Gonna give him a house of worship. Okay, so can I trade? Yes, time to trade. Okay. We got chains. I need to buy chains. Can't make those yet. Uh... Pig leather armor, steel cap. Ooh, we got some bags. What do we got in these bags? In Lots of stuff. And I don't know if I want these bags. Bins with fabric in them. Don't really need that. You put out a lot of fabric this time. I don't think I asked for that. Oh, I should probably get some bolts for my crossbows. Mm -hmm. Um, I'll just take all your fish. Oh, you have plants. Oh, good, 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 good. Yes. All your plants. Thank you. Giant bat leather backpack. Why not? Um, okay. And yeah, how much do I owe you? 2,700? That won't be hard.
Still got a bunch of wood shit. So this stream has inspired me to reinstall Mountain Blade. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, we have so not as fiddly as this. Yeah. But has some similar DNA. Okay. Like match it right now. Trade. Profit of 500. We good? Okay, we good. Double Forte, you mean this one or uh, or Dwarfy Fartress? How much is Dwarf Fortress right now? I think it's 30 bucks on Steam. You can also buy it DRM free elsewhere, this, ver this version oh, cool. of it. Dwarf Fortress. Man, the, the old ASCII graphics are really appealing. <laughs> I need to chop down more trees, so let's assign some trees for chopping. That's so funny. The trail, the Steam trailer for this game says, as seen in the MoMA. Yeah. <laughs> Which is the Museum of Modern Art, for those of you who don't frequent New York museums. They um they did a sort of gallery. I think they've been doing it for a couple of years now. They induct games sort of into their, I guess, pantheon. Or is that, sorry, am I thinking of the Library of Congress? But I know the MoMA had a, a an exhibit on video games once, and they concluded some extremely <clears throat> impactful games. I guess historically important ones, and Dwarf Fortress was one of them. And I think it's it is very unique. I mean, it's it's this sort of story generation is is not something you really even see in other media forms of media. Um, and like I play a lot of these games, I think you could also sort of categorize that in. Like I, I actually picked up uh, Crusader Kings three again after playing that a good amount when it came out. Mm -hmm. um, and that's also, I mean, it has victory conditions technically, but I was mostly just interested in this the absurdities of my brain and the like ridiculous stuff I had to do to ensure certain heirs would continue and, and um, very entertaining the stories that I created and nothing that was yeah. necessarily intentional. Um, and there's a couple others. Oh, oh, there was a really good one or this really interesting one that, uh, that came out last year called uh, what oh, was it? Wander myth. I feel like I'm not saying the name right. Well, Wildermyth. Wildermyth, which is not quite as much, I feel like, as freeform maybe as this one and and, and Crusader Kings, um, but definitely has the sort of like, it, it, it not only randomly puts together certain storylines, but characters can become legends and come back in other stories. And it's, it's, it's very interesting how... I have heard fantastic stuff about that game. I'm going to wishlist that one too. Yeah. It's a fun tactical game too, I think. But um, and I feel like there's other games out there like like this that are just just built for you to have something crazy happen and then tell your friends about it. I mean, I remember one of the first ones like that for me. I know that Dwarf Fortress uh, predates it by a good lot, but FTL was like yeah, an incredible story generator. Um, not have a planter assigned now because they died oh and i also fuck, i need to keep remembering what i'm doing i need to engrave memorials did i do it already or i did i need to place memorials <laughs> Two slabs. Okay. Destroy that one because I fucked that one up. Oh, finally put to rest. Yay. <laughs> I'm glad we could do that for you, Tozid. Warhammer is or specifically Immortal Empires is another one of these sort of things, even though, like, I like that there's a spectrum of these games mm -hmm. where, like, there's, like, um, 
Sorry, one second. Uh, where there's like a varying degree of like neat headedness, right? Or like maybe that's mm -hmm. not the like 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 th th there's a varying degree of like action forward, combat forward versions of this game mm -hmm. where you know maybe there's like less abstraction, there's less like social stuff, but there's more uh, other mechanics on top of it. But Immortal Empires is a really good one of those where like most of the people who I know who play that just never finish a campaign they just start a new <laughs> campaign and they enjoy it until the you know they start losing steam on their particular campaign but you know funny situations happen i feel like that one is a little more the ai is a little more predictable and it's just generally sort of moving towards like consolidation of territories mm. and um inevitably right it's just people getting stronger and swallowing up the smaller uh, civilizations and factions until it's just the biggest ones fighting but still fun and uh banner lord as well is so good mm. uh, yeah i didn't realize there was a warcraft or w warhammer thing like that but that that yeah i mean yeah, it was, it was the one that we showed you on stream <laughs> right 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 yeah yeah, yeah. uh I was just looking at, so I've assigned some of my dwarves positions. Like I didn't have a sheriff and I guess that's how you have a justice stuff, but he needs, um, he needs all these things. He needs a modest dining room, mm. a study. Wait, I thought I did have a tomb. Now I'm confused. You do you not have a designated tomb room? I thought I did. This is the tomb. The tomb room. Does it need a door? Is it? Does it need a zone? It's got a zone. This is the oh, big okay. tomb. Um, does he need his own tomb? Does he need a? I don't. He needs his own personal tomb. Okay, I guess maybe it's just for. What a fucking loser. The sheriff. Okay, we'll put that I'll over only here. I'll accept this job if I have a tomb. Come on. Remember, uh, Nicholas Cage owns his future tomb. Oh, yeah. He bought it in Louisiana. It's a pyramid. <laughs> oh, fuck. Unless he had to sell it. That'd be sad. Damn, I fucked up. Okay, door for his friggum study. What is it again? I've got another petition. The Born Guild has many members in Trample Shield and now requires a guild hall. Location must be built and furnished with the hall designated for a farmer guild. Sure, why not? Oh, cool. Nice. They've organized. Make you all guild hall. Very good act on. Um, office? I think it was office that I need to make for the sheriff. Oh, and that's where I see the guild hall. Okay. So let's see here. Sheriff's house. <laughs> um, and, oh, that's a bunch of lemonite. Uh, I'll make that bit bigger for the guild hall. Um, and we'll put a door. Okay. So. Oh, what's this? The Born Guild has been established. We got some more migrants. Oh man, I have a 46 population. This is, this is growing. <laughs> I feel like this is almost twice what I started with in the stream. And pretty okay, pretty satisfied, so. Doing good. Uh, we, can, we can keep brewing fruit, you know? Just keep doing that. Um, sheriff, 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 sheriff. Uh, okay, don't need you anymore. Sheriff still needs 
study quarters. Oh, I have to give him a bedroom. Fuck. Okay. Um, you have. Do you need your own fucking dining room too? I have a dining room. One weapon stand, one armor rack. Okay, okay. Probably have to make those. Armor stand, weapon rack. Um, okay, let's designate a guild hall. Frickin' landlord's supposed to send somebody to look at my oven today so I can cook a casserole. That's hmm. not good yet. I hope they get there real soon. No worries if you gotta dip out for that. Where's the Born Hall? Do I have to find them or do I just pick... Oh, Farmer's Hall. It's at Farmer's Hall. Okay. There's so many kind of unions. Double Forte neat. says their new fort has zombie monitor lizards. That sounds bad. Mm, I hate it. <laughs> you got zombie monitor lizards. Am I just? I feel like I missed it. Where is the farmer hall? Why isn't it alphabetical either? Furnace. Fish Farmer Hall. Yeah. Farmer and Hall. The Born Guild Hall. Boom. Okay, you guys got a hall. What do I have to do? What do I have to furnish it with? Fuck. Chairs. Chairs, yes. That was just a guess. I think you're right, though. Yeah, if I was going to have a guild hall, I'd want some chairs. chairs in there um you finished Based building stuff yes i think all the elk lodges i've been into <laughs> and let's see military weapon rack make it a workshop first why didn't we i thought i said to make one So why 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 didn't we make that? armor stand? Oh wait, I didn't place an armor stand. Armor stand. I don't have one. Why do we not have one? I'm out of logs. Did we chop any down uh -oh. yet? I said to chop down logs. Yeah, I've got a bunch of things marked for chopping. Do I not have people assigned to chopping? Labor, woodcutters, no designated choppers. Only s only one dude. Okay, everybody uh, does this. Yeah. No wait, I want to make everybody do it. Why can't I do that? Nobody does this. Fine, I guess that's enough. Woodcutters. You're all woodcutters now. I had so much wood for a long time that I didn't even bother having it being chopped, but I guess I made a lot of cups <laughs> and barrels. Fuck, okay, I do need I make another bedroom. Which probably needs I need to make more beds. Um, although how big oh of a civilization God. can you get in this game? Like, how many um, population-wise? I, I have to think it goes pretty high because that's why you would like start subdividing into separate boroughs. Mm -hmm. Um. <laughs> I did. I did let the elves bully me into stop chopping down trees, but they're not looking. Um. Oh my god, what a pathetic guild hall. What a... I supplied it says that you can go up to 200 at your burrow, but you can raise the cap in settings. Interesting. Mm. 
<laughs> as many as your CPU can hold. <laughs> My uh, CPU is full of dwarfs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the, the DPU. Well, I feel like, okay, oh, it's like 450 already, damn. This, yeah, you're doing so much in this game, it is one of those things where, like, time is just... Oh, something has collapsed on the surface, what? Is, is that, that what's... Tree made? I think the tree. Yeah. God, that scared me. Or not, I mean, I wanted something to... Something thrilling to happen. Oh, we have a fight, wait. The planter. Era. Whoa. Why'd you guys fight? Why are they fighting? <laughs> oh. They. F <laughs> I think the tree fell on some people. <laughs> oh no. Er Arab Geshudlas. Planter. Um. It, it says they're unconscious. It said cancel fell tree unconscious. <laughs> Zuglar Ogslib broker cancels fell tree unconscious. Well, okay. Um, but I want to know why these guys are fighting. Did you go mad again? I don't know. Ooh. One of them looked sick. Hmm. A pallid hue overtakes your dwarf. Wait, where did it, did it say that? No, I just said that. That's what I would say if one of my. I can't tell if this is something. Something happened from this collapse. I'm trying to like. Planter regains consciousness. Oh. Says that when trees fall on you, it's treated as combat. Okay. Because I'm seeing the old stuff where Toasted, Crafts, Wayne, and people fought very early on. So this is like, an, those are old, old notifications. But yes, the planter's right upper leg takes the full force of the impact, but it is deflected by the planter's uh, dress. Okay. The planter is caught in a burst of clay loam. So this, yeah, this is the combat of the tree. And then the planter gains consciousness, so the planter stands up. Okay, he's okay. Okay. I was just not prepared for combat, uh, to, for a tree falling to be represented as combat. Um. All right, it's winter. The tree falls on a dwarf, and Clayton's not there to see it. Does it appear in the combat log? I guess not. Yeah, it, is, yes. it does. It does. It does. Uh, okay. Bed. Bedroom. For our captain. And sheriff. Okay, he's got a bedroom. Good. Modest quarters. Is it not good enough? Is that what you're saying? God, picky, picky, picky. The bookkeeper is also complaining about not having an office. Okay, okay. Oh, did I finally build a weapon stand? An armor rack. Yes, I did. Cool. I'm vibing. This music's great. That's good stuff. Yeah. Now, Clayton, is this a podcast game for you? Is this a game that you are playing while watching oh. or listening to another thing? I'll admit that like, I'm not comfortable enough with it that I I feel like I can do that. Like, I just... Even this, I've had an underlying anxiety of like, I feel like something is going on somewhere and I'm not paying attention to it. That's spiraling out of control. Which again, I've even said is the point of this game that like stuff does kind of uh, unravel at a certain point. Um, but I, I still like, yeah, I'm not sure if I, well, I think once I do become more comfortable with like, okay, it's okay that I'm not paying attention to something every second. Um, if I know better how to, like, find the combat log and go and see what happened. Um, okay, well, I'm going to assign a couple more people to this uh, 
squad here. So I feel like some more people have made themselves. Oh. Why does it say not wrestler? <laughs> not, not, not a wrestler. They're all not wrestlers. They're all defined by the fact that they're not wrestlers. Okay. Um, Sports entertainers. Listen, you got to tell me if you're a wrestler. But I, I could totally see this becoming a game where I listen to podcasts or have a TV show on, on the side. But um, now lately for me, that game has been... Uh, Timberborn, which is like a little city builder, except it takes place in a post-apocalyptic world where beavers have taken over. So you're oh, making a little yeah, beaver yeah, yeah, village. Yeah. And I love yep. the game. It's very charming on the surface, but it does take place pretty explicitly in a, in a post-human world where the humans take over the, the planet. Um, it's very cute, but it's a very good, competent um, city builder where the whole the thing you're really managing is the season seasonal water changes. So you legitimately have to like do some modifications to the land by damming up things to like hold water during the dry seasons and like a big reservoir that also might is be next to your floodplain so that you have an area to farm even in the dry season. And then when the water starts coming in, you have to lower the, the, the docks or lower the um, canals or whatever and let the water flow through. And that might power your industry for the water wheel. It's, it's a really fun game and it, it just feels more engaging than some city builders but hmm. um i do like the three little beavers in it i gotta check that out i'm, it's I'm very wish listing so many games today um so i, I am actually going to save and return to the title because um nothing was happening right then i wanted to, to show what happens when you create a world and you kind of get that initial yeah. history here before we peace out timberborn is the game for those timberborn as a, I recommend that as a city builder. Oh, it's only 20 bucks right now, too. Okay, so we can literally... Let's let's do 250. Oh, it takes several minutes. Okay, we won't do that. We'll just do 100-year history. Yeah, I won't... I won't make too much different about this. So, yeah, it's literally like loading information. I just love it. It's like forming lakes and minerals, <laughs> running rivers, uh, preparing elevation, setting temperature, um, placing beasts, placing. So the age of myths, uh, making a whole bunch of historical figures. In the late summer of eight, the human papa. Oh, gosh, it's going too fast. Um, the eviscerated forest. Holy shit. There was a grizzly bear. Um the Queen of the Knives of Dabbling. The Devil Taper. That went by so fast. Uh, <laughs> but there was a Devil Tapir. Um, oh, God. I think I can scroll through this. Um, does it let me... Oh, I thought, wish there was a way to go back through the Chronicle. I feel like there is in Legends mode. So if I... Hold on. If I return the world, sorry if I clicked the wrong thing. But yeah, there's totally a Legends mode that I think is just about looking through those histories it generates. That's very cool. Um, okay, so is it create new world? Do I need a mode oh, shit. which I just hit create world again I think I did um, a philosophical discussion I'm not ready to have <laughs> live on stream oh I can pause it this time I'll try to pause it a comparison 
the differences, the contrast and simula- sim- similarities between this sort of game and AI art. I don't think <laughs> it's the same thing, but it is interesting that this yeah. does a lot of this. I can see a surface level, yeah. yeah, similarity, but there's much more engagement, I feel like, in the process yeah. here. Um, I feel like it it, it doesn't... Um, the difference... Uh, you, you and I had a conversation about its procedural generation, not machine learning. Oh, that's a very important distinction. Yeah. That's actually yeah. a very good point. Um, okay, here, I'm going to try to... The, pause this distinction that you and i were talking about when we were talking about story games no, stop, that... please. <laughs> none of the it just story said so, games sorry it said something about the lizard fiend nickel hideous gristle j- jump view oh, sorry i even missed it already <laughs> yeah sorry you can continue yeah n- none of the story games out there portend to tell you the story really Mm. they usually still rely on procedurally generating like events and letting systems run and then the story comes from the telling of the story is you telling your friends right and you streaming it and you playing like it still requires you to be a storyteller to interpret those events and um extract meaning from them um so here's just an example of some of the things that have happened in this new history I've generated. Sorry, I, I list the uh, old one. I lost it. But in the year 35, the group of slaughters of the Brush Kingdom founded Call's Hooves. I don't know what that is. In the spring of early, in the early spring of 38, the human Tomka raptor holds of the Fellowship of Scholars created the position of High Butler as a matter of course. In the mid-spring of 43, the Hydra <laughs> Osp Puspant, the Brilliant, was struck down by an elf in the Conjure Raptor. In the late summer of 46, the human Cyril Boy Farms of the Umber Unions created the position of chief housekeeper, as a matter of course. So getting a lot of uh, housekeeping done in this world. Uh, continue generating. Legend, the double forty says, Legends mode uh, uh, will answer every I don't know what that is you could ever have. Oh, I got it. Yeah, sorry, I figured that out. Um, that's gosh. the one with like hyperlinks for everything. Um. Oh, that's got a dragon in it. In the early spring of 67, the dragon Thali brand, branded gems, the fortune of flickers, routed the sweltering society of the Brush Kingdom and destroyed strife ghosts. <laughs> oh, well, we, I'm glad those guys are gone. Yeah. Uh, a really good rec from Jack Lysmith in chat that I'll have to check out too. Recommend Krog Smash on YouTube, uh, who plays a dwarf fortress and illustrates what happens. That's so cool. Oh, what do we got here? In the early summer of 82, the Hydra of Free Canyon, the Willful, routed the persuasive salve of the Tin Tower of Stops and destroyed Deep Town. <laughs> oh, gosh. This reminds me of um, a thing me and my friend started <laughs> when we were both trying to write more. Mm-hmm. What, what, what you got? What you got? Um, I'm... I'm... There's so much, and it's not pausing immediately when I click it. Uh, gosh, what do you got? In the early spring of 95, the Hells of Strategy constructed vial bulbs. Yeah, I really... Yeah, because I think that it's showing me the map, what stuff is on the map. But i got to figure out how to go into Legends mode. Yeah, like, like seven or eight years ago, me and my friend were both trying to write more. So we had this idea um, for a project where we just... We made a big spreadsheet mm-hmm. with a bunch of like elements and names and um, essentially it was a name generator. And then I ran the mm. name generator and we would generate the name of a short story. Like, like a sh- it was all like sword and sorcery sort of shit. Um, but we would generate the name of a short story and then we'd just have to write it based on the name. <laughs> uh, it was fun. I think we called it, what did we call it? Fortune and Fate. Um, and we never did anything with it. <laughs> it was just for us. Now that sounds sick. I, w- I would like to do s- stuff like that. There's uh, there's a lot of tabletop games that are almost like for world building, mm-hmm. um, and I've always found those interesting. They they play a lot of them on a table. Uh, what is it? 
games with friends. Friends of the table. Friends of the table. Mm -hmm. um, how do I do Dwarf Fortress Legends mode? Double Forte says you start Legends mode like you would a fortress. Okay. Oh, oh wow! So I need to start new game in existing. Well, do I just? I think it's like the big first option you have once you've made a world. There it is. Oh yeah! So the, holy shit! Eleven thousand oh. historical figures. <laughs> And oh shit, you get their whole like backstory. Yeah, see, this is cool because this is like kind of similar to how one of the things I really liked about Crusader Kings 3 is you can kind of do this in your family tree. You can go and see what their sort of like notable things happen in their lives. And it's funny, like I, I remember in my most recent Crusader Kings game, uh, something happened to where my expected heir kind of was shitty and I didn't want them to be my heir anymore. Um, and then the one I wanted to died so i had to go to my like third choice and i looked at his history and like before he ever became king at like age 30 or something he like <laughs> fought his own little intra kingdom wars with a rival one of my other like dukes or whatever and got himself captured like multiple times he just kept losing battles to this other lord in the kingdom <laughs> Failsome. and then and he's like spends a bunch of time in dungeons and shit and he's like i'm the king now what up <laughs> <laughs> The emperor, I guess. At that I point. am the dungeon emperor. Yes. You're not I gonna... don't know how to read. He's like, why don't you go into that dungeon? <laughs> why don't you t Why don't you take a turn in there? It's my dungeon now. So yeah, this is Dwarf Fortress, and it's so big. It's there's so much to this game. Um, I hope I've been a good uh, introduction for some people because I've I've only just scratched the surface of what this game is. Um, yeah. Who Who are some good uh good Dwarf Fortress streamers for people to check out if like there's if if you want to watch some high level play. I know that uh, Mirakuru Time has been streaming it a bit. Cicada knows a lot about it and she'll be streaming it as well. The Age of Myth. The dwarf Olon clashed knives became the queen of the moist mechanisms. <laughs> the match gym of the moist mechanisms founded Rock's Healer. The mouse devil, Zoot Shosh, Poison Sneak, the momentous hex, thrust a spire yeah. of Slade up from the underworld, naming it the Timbrous Castle, and established a gateway between the worlds in the Gland Thieves. And I guess in the process became the master of the lies of allying? What the fuck? Okay, this has been Dwarf Fortress. Um, we stream 3 p.m. Eastern, and we'll be back on Monday. What do we stream? Oh, we're doing Ninja Turtles on Monday? Is Monday? I think it's something. I feel like it's something else. Let me take a look at our. We have a stream right here on our. We have our schedules on our page. Yeah. Um, Where is the schedule, please? I would like to look at it. I think I. I Monday. Think... Monday. We will be streaming. I don't have anything on my calendar for Monday. <laughs> Wait, yes, I do. Uh, Pokemon, Arceus. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're, we're streaming Ar Ar Arceus, Arceus, whatever. And then Tuesday, we're streaming Ninja Turtles. Then we're going to be off for Crimbo. And then we'll be back the following week. Uh, oh, boy, we got some fucking Clayton-ass games coming up. Yeah, and then we will be back the, like, Wednesday, Thursday before New Year's, I think, just for a couple more streams. That's right. For the Callisto Protocol, we, we might call an audible on that when I hear that game is doo-doo. Yeah, uh, in, a, in, in a way that might not even be fun to stream. And uh, but then the ultimate Clayton game on the 29th, we got Nebulous Fleet Nebulous. Command. <laughs> Fleet Command. Oh yeah. Kidding. Get ready for that. Um. All right. Well. That's a game that I would week. make up and say my friend. I know. Clayton I know. Plays. You. I feel like y'all said that the first time. I. I, I feel like I said <laughs> yeah. the name of the game in a meeting the first time, and everybody just started cracking up because it sounded so fucking made up. <laughs> um, it's a really good game, though. Uh, <laughs> it's true. Thank you for All showing right. me Dwarf Fortress, Clayton. Yeah, no problem. See you all later, chat. Thanks for hanging out. Bye. Thank you, Arthur, not Art. Bye. <laughs> that game.
game seems really cool, Clayton. Uh, yeah, it's 